Hey, this is Greg, and I just wanted to talk about why I think textbooks, medical textbooks, are kind of a waste of time. I know some of you might not want to hear that. <laughs> um, when I started doing better in undergrad, it was because I would pre-read. And for me, pre-reading was like paramount to my success. Because then I could look, go to the lecture and I already kind of knew what the teacher was talking about. That makes obvious sense. The problem with medical school is that you have so much freaking information and you're constantly playing catch up. That was my case. I was never ahead. I was constantly behind. <laughs> like to the last second. <clears throat> um, so I didn't have time to read. I tried for the first week of school. I tried so hard to follow the readings of what the teachers wanted us to do. It was impossible. And it was also, for me, an incredible waste of time. Because you're not gonna be tested on anything that they don't lecture on. For the, for the vast majority of the questions, they're, they're straight from the lecture. So reading's great. I mean, you get more well-rounded on the topic, but there's so much more information in the book that you'll ever be tested on. And so you're spending all this time on something that's that's not very necessary. And you get a ton of books. This is just half of them. This is crazy. I didn't even open these and I got an A. <laughs> I'm just telling you, this wasn't really that important. And this is a lot of time and effort to do. So if reading if you're, especially if you're a fast reader, I think it's probably excellent. And if you get out anything out of reading, go ahead. You know, what was nice is maybe the questions out of here. That was probably the best part. Um, but for me, just straight up reading the book was um, painful. <laughs> so that's my suggestion. I think it's a complete waste of time. If you don't, please comment. Tell me what you think. You know, did it help you? So let me know. Thank you.